So I'm going to start out with my primer, and it's my favorite one, Painterly. Not necessarily like the colors, one of my favorites, but just the product itself because it helps my eyeshadow stay on all day and it looks really vibrant. So especially if I'm gonna be going out at night, then I want everything to look extra bomb. I use this. And then I really just blend it with my fingers because it's a cream and it's just easier to do it that way. Girl, you got me down, you got me stressed out. Cause ever since I'm going to be using this palette, the Kelly Osborne one from the Osborne collection. And this is called Tickety Boo, but it really just, what does this look like? I don't know. Looks like Ori, also from MAC. And I'm going to just add that to my crease. And this is a 224, yep, 224 brush from MAC. It's just a fluffy blending brush, you guys. <laughs> And I'm just going to use a synthetic brush for this, and this is the 252. It's technically a concealer brush, but who cares? You can use a brush however you feel like it because you pay for it, so do what you want to do. And I'm going to apply the pigment right on my lid, and of course, I'm not going to go up past my crease. Ever since I left the city, you, you got exactly what you asked for. Running out of pages on your passport. Hanging with some girls I never seen before. You used to call me on my cell phone. Lean up in me. I'll probably go in with a little Fix Plus to make it look a little bit more vibrant. And I'm going to go back to that palette. And this time I'm going to use a 217, two, yeah, 217 brush. There's a little bit of brown on it. Who cares? And I'm using the darker purple. And I'm going to apply that right on my crease. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go back to my 224 brush because I don't want there to be a harsh line. And I'm just going to blend all of this outer part together. Not necessarily going on the crease, but the outer part. And I'm just going to use a black pencil. This one is just from Avon. I've had this thing forever. It's their glimmer sticks. And these pencils stay on really well, actually. And I'm just going to I'll, um, outline my waterline. Everybody knows that I feel left out. Girl, you got me down, you got me stressed out. Cause ever since I left the city. In this case, I'm okay with it running a little bit below my water my lash line because I want this to be a very smoky look. So I have this little 212 right here. This is from MAC. And it's just a flat top brush. Um, I love this for doing my brows, like concealing underneath it. But I also love it for smudging under my waterline or lash line. <laughs> So, just to set it and smoke it a little bit more, I'm going to go back to that dark purple 
with my 212 brush and I'm going to apply this right under my lash line. I want to intensify my crease just a little bit more. I'm going to use this eyeshadow it's called From Dark Desires and is the Into the Well eyeshadow. Not a, wait. This is from the Into the Wells eyeshadow because it has the little dip in there and you put a little bit of water or fix plus and it serves as an eyeliner as well. But I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow first and I'm just going to intensify my grease a little. I just don't think it's dark enough. So now moving on to my face, I'm going to use Peach Luster from MAC just on a couple of dark spots or blemishes that I might have. I don't like using this under my eyes because it's very orange and it makes my foundation look orangey and I just don't like that. I really liked the, um, the color corrector from YSL. I need to invest in that one because it wasn't super orange like this one from MAC is. Like it's perfect for people with deeper skin tones if they want to use it um, under their eyes but if you're an NC45 or um, lighter it doesn't work very well. I'm going to go ahead and use my Studio Fix Fluid Foundation and this one is in an NC45. I don't know why I looked at the bottom. <laughs> this is my color. Since I left the city, you got a reputation for yourself now. Everybody and that is my highlight under my eyes. I'm going to use my concealer palette from MAC. NC40 and NC42, and I'm just going to mix those two in there. Out on the dance floor, hanging with some girls i never seen before. You used to call me on the cell phone. And I'm going all out. I like to start my contour with a cream base first. And this is Richly Honed and it's a Pro Sculpting Cream from MAC. You can only purchase this at a pro store, so you wouldn't be able to go to a regular store to get this. Since I left the city, you, 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 you and me, we just don't get along. You make me feel like I did you wrong. Go to places where you don't belong. Ever since I left the city, you, you got exactly what you asked for. Running out of pages on your passport. Hanging with some girls I never seen before. You used to call me on my cell phone. this elf one and it's a complexion brush and I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour kit and this is the tan to deep and I had this palette for probably a year or longer and I'm just now making a dip on that first color because that's the one that I like to start with and I started out on my cheekbones as if it was a blush I'm 
make sure it's nice and blended and then once again I'm going to do the same thing I did for my eyes and I create a gradient effect. And the last color is um, pretty dark, so I like to just concentrate that color right here to deepen my contour a little bit more, but I don't bring it all the way down. And I'm just going to press the brush a little bit, squeeze it like this because it's a pretty big fluffy brush. Um, and I don't want to get this darker color all over, so I want to concentrate it just right here. So while I was not filming, I went ahead and I applied my lashes and these are just the number six lashes from MAC. Pretty sure these are the sixes, not the threes. Yep, these are number six. Um, and then I just highlighted the bridge of my nose a little bit more and did just a little bit of contouring um, with this small brush right here on the bridge of my nose, still using the same palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. With my Go Deposit. And I'm going to apply it with this 137 brush from MAC. this blush it's from Mac it was limited edition and I depotted it and I have no idea of what the name is but it's a really pretty um, natural looking peachy brown if that makes any sense it makes sense in my head blush <laughs> And for my lips, I'm going to use Guess from ColourPop, and this is just like a super dark purple liquid lipstick, and I love it. And then go ahead and use your fix bus. <laughs> and this is in Yuzu. It was one of the limited edition ones. So, and you would be all set. Hanging with some girls I never seen before. You used to call me on. 